Check one, two, what's up? DJ Divine Justice here, back with part two. Sorry, my phone ran out of uh, storage space. So as I was saying, uh, this isn't supposed to pick up until it goes into soft takeover mode. Um, and as you can see, it's just better to leave this MIDI off um, when messing around with these channels. That's why it's kind of a, a, a large step to go. Uh, to make this work in internal mode, but it's also cool for people who you know know their tracks and don't have to do much queuing. Um, like I said, there's nothing coming through on these two channels. The master is coming out of four or five, which means that if I turn this up, you'll see there's nothing coming through on this channel strip. I can actually be using this on other switches. CD or phono and run some other things through because it's using the third channel, the internal channel, the one that this one also com comes through. Um, so that would be how you would do that. Um, I went in and MIDI mapped. Um, this is a filter, this is high, low, and medium, and this is the volume fader. So you can see it can affect that, you can turn the mids down, lows. Um, and then, like I said, the top, and since, since there's no gain on this channel, I just use it as a filter. And I'll probably go in and set one of these buttons as a off for the filter, because I like going all the way to the end and being able to tap something and have it go off, but I haven't MIDI mapped that yet. Um, basically, you just go into the controller editor. Uh, you find either one of the two Pioneer T1 mappings and then you just go to add in, um, go to where it says mixer, and then it'll give you an option for EQs and the volume fader, and that's how you MIDI map. So I'd go to my control manager, switch to um, Pioneer DJM T1, and I got a lot of mappings in there, as you can imagine. And there's no LEDs, so you don't have to worry about mapping any outputs. Um, it's just for for use for getting the most out of the post fader in in internal mode. Um, I don't know if this is the one that I use because there were two. Uh, it'd be under V volume adjust. Yeah. So I just go to in add in mixer, and then you got EQ. And then so you're going to want to map high, mids, and lows. You're going to want to map the crossfader position, which is the top choice. And then go down to um, volume adjust. And you can see I already have the, the three here. Uh, I have all four faders because when I press shift and use the fader, then I have it controlling um, the volume for C and D too. Um, I think that's really all you'd have to map. Hmm. That's all I can think of so far. So, um, that's the difference. Also, if you're in external mode, I'll say one last thing. If you're in external mode, you can use the post fader effects on your remix decks. And that's because each remix deck has its own volume level f built in. So you get audio setup, back to output, back to external. Four and five are four and five is where deck C and D are coming through. Um, close that out. You can play at the loop. Make sure effects are on. Turn the effect on. bring the volume down. And you can see the volume up, the volume going down. So that's the only way. You don't need to have a F1, but that would be if you were stuck in, in needing to use your T1 in external mode, that would be how you could um, still you make some use of the post fader effects. So I think that's about it. Definitely check out you know part one so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Hopefully this will come in handy. I think I earned 
my second sip. As always, practice and enjoy. Peace and love. DJ Divine Justice signing off.